Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the topic tabulation. But what exactly is tabulation? Tabulation is said to be the arrangement of numeric data in rows or columns to facilitate comparison of information or to perform statistical analysis. There are basically two types of tabulation. We have what is called simple tabulation and this involves creating column and row headings and oblique and vertical headings, the application of borders, table alignment on the page, whether vertically or horizontally or both, right? sorting of data in tables. It is important to note that simple tabulation can take place in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel through the use of any of these things that I just stated. Then we have what is known as advanced tabulation. This involves using simple formulae, using spreadsheet or database software to perform predefined functions such as sum, average, minimum, and maximum. It also includes inserting charts and graphs, formatting of tables using percentages and dollars, invoices, debit notes, and also the creation of credit notes. Now, what are some of the uses of these tables when we draft them? The use of tables allows us the flexibility of placing our information in the best way possible to get our point across. It allows us to insert additional rows and columns, split cells to create additional rows and columns, Merge cells to accommodate long text in one line or one cell. Adjust row height or column width. Apply borders and shadings. Align text in any direction. Insert formulae in a cell to perform calculations. Or the use of tables to create charts. Now we need to ensure that when we are drafting our tables or doing our tabular work, there are certain guidelines that should be noted as it relates to the style that is being used, whether the blocked style or the centered style. When it is that we are doing the blocked style tabular work, we should ensure firstly that the heading of the table should, is flushed to the left margin and the necessary guidelines for typing headings are followed. Secondly, figures having four or more digits should not carry a comma and this is important it should not carry a comma instead a space should be used for example 12,000 space 500 when it is that we're using the centered style we should ensure that the heading of the table is centered and the necessary guidelines for typing headings are followed we should also ensure that when we're typing figures, four or more digits, that they should carry a comma. For example, 12,000 comma 500. And finally, we should note that words are always left aligned and our figures are always right aligned. They should, however, be taken over to the center if possible but while still keeping the current alignment and that is being left or right aligned so we should not highlight the figures and are the word and press center alignment that is incorrect our words should always be kept to the left and our figures to the right and then we use the alignment icon to take them over to the center and that's it all you need to know about tabular work. The next thing we need to do now is just to do some tabular work in Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word to get off practice on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in my next upload.